welcome back to another english online session today i would like to discuss with you a grammar topic one of the eight part of speeches the topic is preposition it is actually a very vast area so i have divided this portion into two parts today i am going to uh discuss the first part of preposition now let's see what is preposition the word itself saying that preposition it gives a position to the word followed it it may be a noun pronoun or a gerund let's see the definition for preposition a preposition may be defined as a word or a group of words used before a noun pronoun gerund to show its relation with another word is in a sentence for example they came here at 3 pm in this sentence at is the preposition and it is pointing out a specific time and it is relating the word following it with the, the sentence and the second one is he was born in 1980 here in is a preposition and it uh, connects or relates uh, the year came after uh, with the sentence and the third one is she went out of the room here of is the preposition and uh, this of relate the following word the room with the sentence so these are the basic prepositions these prepositions relate to time place position and direction or means so these are the uh, areas we use preposition to point out a time or uh, specify a place position or direction or any other means so this is what preposition means in this part uh, we are going to particularly discuss about the preposition of time the first one is at at is used to indicate when something happens we use at with the clock times uh, periods of the year and periods of the day or festivals etc but we don't use at with the morning evening afternoon we use at with the night but we won't uh, use uh, at with the morning evening or afternoon let's see some examples the train left at 8 o'clock here a particular point of time in a day mentioned here so if you want to specify a particular time you have to use the preposition at before the time she used to go to temple at dasra and diwali so in this example the uh, mentioned the particular festival look at the third example he came here at the weekend so this uh, this uh, last word answer that when he came there so before that that specific time at is given there she married at the age of 20 in the same way to show that particular time at is used before the age i called on my friend at night as i already told you we must use at before night we rested at noon dawn dusk so here different times times means mentioned here noon dawn dawn early morning dusk sunset so before these words also we have to use at now let's see the preposition in in is used to indicate the period of time in which something happens we use in with the centuries years seasons months period of the day 
especially morning evening afternoon we can look at some examples look at the first example english literature flourished in the 16th century so one use is we should use in before mentioning the century 16th century 17th century 18th century likewise the next one is she was born in 1919 the second rule is we must use in before the year the third one is they visited this place in summer here in is used before a season next one he called on me in the evening we have already checked this before uh, the time like uh, morning the words uh, mentioning the time morning evening afternoon we should use in and you should remind one thing we should use at before the word night or the time mentioning night the next example the theft took place in the daytime here also mentioning the time here we should use in my father went to the usa in october as i said earlier it was mentioned above before the month also we should use in the next one it all happened in three minutes or hours or days or years so such cases also we should in before minutes the word like minutes hours days or years the next preposition is on let's see where we should use on on is used with days dates birthdays anniversaries etc so let's see some examples we went to see a movie on tuesday on should be used before the days like monday tuesday wednesday thursday and uh, the next example he was born on october 3 1980 look at here if you are mentioning merely the year you have to use in but you are giving the whole date you have to use on on october 3 1980 look at the next example if you would like to congratulate uh, someone on some victory or a special day you have to use on before that mentioning that we congratulated him on his birthday here on is used before the birthday a special day and the next one is we gave them a gift on their 20th marriage anniversary i have already mentioned that a special day like such uh, congr congratulating for some occasions we use on while using the preposition on one thing you should not that is we use on with uh, morning afternoon evening etc when they are modified you should uh, keep this word in your mind when these words are modified otherwise we use in before these words if they are modified we use on let's see some examples they reached here on a hot afternoon the word afternoon is modified with the, the word hot so we have used on before that look at the next example people did not come out of their houses on a night like this so this night is modified this is not an ordinary night they they are saying that a night like this so something modified there that night is not an ordinary night so on is used before that we went for fishing on a pleasant morning as i said uh, morning here morning is modified with the word pleasant so on is used before that so the point is if these words like uh, morning evening afternoon if these words uh, are modified we use on the preposition on before these words otherwise we use 
in before these words the next uh, preposition is during during may be used instead of in with the periods of the day months seasons year decades and centuries to express the idea that something continues you must stress this word continues this during can be used instead of in in a situation something continues throughout the whole of a specified period so in a specified period an action started and continues uh, in a specified period we can use during let's see some example during the war many people were killed in this example the war started at a point and it continued for a period so that's why we have used during we work during the day and uh, sleep during the night so these two actions are a continuous action we work for the, the whole day we work or at least uh, 8 to 10 hours we work and at, at least uh, 6 to 8 hours we sleep so that's why during is used here a continuous action in a specified period look at the next example during the 90s many taxes were imposed so in the throughout the 90s many taxes were imposed the next one she used to ring up many times during the week the whole week she just uh, made calls during the journey uh, i came to respect her so the whole journey in the whole journey uh, so that uh, duration is mentioned uh, here that's why the word during the preposition during is used here the next preposition of time here is uh, by by is used to indicate the latest time at which an action will be finished so something to uh, mention a deadline or something will be finished in the future in a specified time to be uh, mentioned that time before that we use this preposition by let's see some examples he will finish this work by five o'clock this means the work will be finished by the specified time the next example by that time the moon was up uh, so a specified time in the future something surely happen or will be done the next one you must come to me by 8 a.m so that specific time that should be done by the time it should be done the next one application must be received by 10th may so here uh, we are giving a specified time something should be finished in the future such cases we can uh, use the preposition by the next preposition is for it has different usages now we are looking uh, the use in time preposition of time for is used with the periods of time to indicate how long an action lasts. It is generally used with the perfect tense but it is also used with the other tense. To mention a set of time, okay, something had happened in a set of time. Uh, to mention a set of time, years, uh, hours, days, you use for. Let's see some examples they have lived here for five years this set of five years uh, mentioned here so we use for before that it rained continuously for 12 hours that uh, in this example is also 12 hours a set of time has been taken so we use for before that the other examples also in the same category like we stayed there for 15 days uh, they have been working for two hours. Uh, she will be there for another three hours. All these examples, uh, a set of time duration, hours or days or months or years even, 
uh, if you mention a set of uh, time duration you should use the preposition for before that the next preposition is since since is used with a point of time in the past from which some actions begin and it continues till the time of speaking it is generally used with the perfect tense let's see some examples he has lived here since 1980 so that action started in in a particular point of time to stress that we use since to show the starting point everything has changed since that last summer so that action has star started or a change had occurred uh, since the last summer the point something has started the same way it has not rained since the end of June another example he had been writing novels since uh, he was 30 years old here something he has started and by the time he is continued or stopped by the time of speaking but to stress the starting point we use the preposition since the next preposition is till or until till and until are used to show something happening or done up to a particular point in the in time and then stopping let's say some example he is expected to be here until the end of the week so till then it was expected that was the meaning conveyed in this sentence using till at that point till that point it was expected i was employed by the company until 1980 to point out the end okay to point out the end we use until or till like uh, the preposition since is used to uh, point out the beginning till or until is used to point out the end look at the sex second example i was employed by the company until 1980 so till he was there in the company you will have to wait until my return so till that particular time if the person has to wait so the point where the waiting ends mentioned uh, to mention that we have to use till or until the next one is before and after the preposition before and after are used to relate events to a particular time uh, before means earlier than and after means later than something done Ex uh, let's see some examples i get up before six so that action has been done before the mentioned time so if something had been done before the mentioned time you can use uh, before the word you uh, you can use before the next example she returned before monday the same uh, logic uh, before a specified time something has been done or happened they came here after eight o'clock so something has been done or happened after the specified time in such cases we have to use the preposition after look at the final example we went to paris uh, four years after our marriage so something had done or uh, happened after the mentioned time so the point is if you if an action happened before the mentioned time you have to use the preposition before or something had happened after the time mentioned there you have to use the preposition after so uh, today i have uh, discussed the prepositions especially preposition of time and uh, the other prepositions i will discuss in the next class 
let's uh, go through and try to frame your own examples see you in the next class bye